good day today our video is how you can create build and push a docker image to ecr using github action so the pipeline as a devops engineer you have to know how to build pipeline and the first stage of every pipeline is to build your application and then push it to ecr once your image is in ecr and then applications can consume your docker image directly from an ecr like for example kubernetes just consumes just using the image by the image tag it points to your repository and with an image pull secret you can be able to pull your image so we we'll do a quick tutorial how you can build and push an image to ecr there's two things you need the first thing you need is to create an ecr repository on aws so you can just come to ecr create repository your name of your repository and that's it and create that's how easy it is and you create your, your first repository the second thing you need is to configure a user um please make sure to like subscribe join my channel so many more videos on tutorials because i'm a hands-on guy you know i build all the applications at my job so i'm good at hands-on so i'll teach you all the tricks all the practices the little pipelines you need to be able to be a good engineer make sure you like and subscribe um at the handle clouddevopsguru.com you notice that um we have cloud devops guru for everything our youtube page is cloud so make sure you join and subscribe um and also make sure you access our school called clouddevopsguru.com um here you'll be able to find courses that i created based on my experience as you can see we have aws you would probably need this one because there you learn, learn how to use ecr how to use im rules how to create users those are skills that you need to work on aws another course that you would need is linux the linux course and if you click on view all products you'll be able to see that we have linux class here this is a very important fundamental class clouddevopsguru.com on youtube is cloud devops guru okay let's go back to our demo so the first the second thing you need you need your ecr repository create repository second thing is an im user and if you notice here i have one user it's just a demo user for me right you can just create a user in our aws slash you see how you do this and then when you create your user make sure your user has the appropriate permissions right we have covered that all in our aws class um so make sure you you, you subscribe but what you need is you need a secret access id or you need a secret access key and all that will be i'll show you where you can get that once you have those now you can access your code the link to this code will be in my description where you can go in there you can see my code and you can understand what it does as you can see here you have a your application it's a simple node.js application as you can tell my two favorite languages are node and python i use python for automation and you node.js for ad hoc tasks like creating simple web applications this is a simple application that just talks on the port, just displays CI CD app works well. That's a simple Node.js app. You don't need to understand that. As a DevOps engineer, you do not understand applications. You just build them and deploy them. Right? Docker file. Our Docker file is the same. All it does, and remember, we have a class on Docker. Here, Docker for DevOps, there you will learn how you can build Docker images like this from scratch. You need that skill. Um, from Node, I'm using a Node image. I'm copying, I'm creating a work directory. I'm copying my package.json, doing my installation. And guys, as you look at this code, what I want to show you is this is how a professional creates code. As a professional engineer, even doing your interviews, what you want to do is you want to make sure you first of all create your installation D, make sure you copy your dependency file first. Keep that in mind. You copy your dependency file first, do your installation, and then you copy your code. Keep that in mind. That's a practice that make you differentiate you from someone who doesn't know what they're doing on the real DevOps engine. Yeah, and then we can we expose our port 3000. Um, there's some tricks in that I show you, but that's our Docker images. And then the one last thing I want to show you is our CI CD pipeline. And I'm using um, uh, GitHub Actions, and you would see that my GitHub Actions file. I'll just show you just the basic steps. Um, there's a separate course that I'm producing on how you can use GitHub Actions. Um, to create pipelines, but it's basically it triggers on push and what push to either a main branch or to a release branch It's going to trigger my script and now I'll be pushing to the main branch and what you do We have jobs github actions is separate into jobs. I'll do a separate course on github actions 
Um, and this job, it configures my AWS credential, which is what I say you need. You need the access ID and access key ID. And uh, it, 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 it configures the AWS, logs into ECR, creates a tag, builds and pushes your image. And there's a part there that scans the image, which I'm going to take off for now. So you can add security scanning and things like that to your image. Uh, and when we come here, what you need is your, if you come to your security credentials, um, what you notice is, and if you didn't really know now, I'm sure by now you already know that, you know, my level of AWS is on a whole nother level, right? My level of DevOps is on a high another level. There's not a lot of people that can, can talk DevOps with me. So you're learning from the right person. That being said, this is what I need. You just create an access key ID. Um, I can make this one inactive since I haven't used this because you can only create two at a time. I'll deactivate that key. And once that's deactivated, I can now create another key. Um, once you deactivate, now you can delete your key, right? By just pasting this. But what I want to show you is you need that key. And once you do my AWS class, all this will be very familiar to you, right? All of this will be extremely familiar to you. So I'm just going to delete that key, but normally what you do is you come here, you create an access key. It's going to create this file with your access key ID and your access key password. And then that's what you're going to use. And let me show you what mine looks like. Let me show you what that file looks like. This is what the file looks like. It creates your access key and it creates your access key ID and your access key. This is what it looks like. So you can use this and hack my system. So I'm going to change it real quick. <laughs> um, after this this cause, I'm going to deactivate that and create a new one because someone can use your access key to access your system. So you do not want to share it. So I'm just going to replace it because I know what to do. Um, so now let's go to our demo. So I've already shown you what the GitHub action does. Here we are. These are GitHub actions. Um, and then it builds the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and trigger the image so we can see it work live. Um, this is a repository which is going to be in the link in this video. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to trigger a build. So git status. Looks like I have some uncommitted changes. So I'll go ahead and commit. And another thing I want to tell you is I'm using git commit dash am. It's different from the regular git commit. The am is saying that I want you to just look at files that I'm already tracking and just if there's a change, just commit it, right? Um, this is now Git for DevOps class. You learn all these techniques on how you can use Git commit and everything about Git you need to know. So make sure you check out our Git for DevOps class. Second, I'm just calling this second push. And then I'm just going to git push. Uh, and the origin in this case will be our main branch. And remember, each time we push to our main branch, we're going to trigger that build every single time. So git push, and I'm going to show you now that has been pushed. We go back, we click on actions, and there we go. It's already triggered a push for us, and it's going to automatically build and push our image. So I was just going to show you guys that live. It's going to start our job, and it's going to push. So this is our demo on how you can build and push your Docker images to ECR. We're going to wait for that build to su succeed it. and it's going to what it's going to do is it's going to follow every step that i showed you in my code so what it's going to do let's go there real quick it's going to configure aws it's going to log into my ecr repository it's going to this is just create a tag a random tag um and then it's going to build and push that image in so we just wait for this so oh, it's almost it's complete so we did as you can see the steps, it did configure my AWS credentials, logged into ECR, as you can see here, um, got a tag, build and push my image into ECR. So let's go to our ECR and verify our image. And this is our image and let's verify that we have an image here. As you can see, we just there was an image that was sent um, in about 10.41 p.m. Let's look at the time. There we go, 10.42. So it was just almost 10 to 10 for the 150, almost 10 for the two. So you see our image just got pushed. Um, let's trigger another. So by doing this, you already have an automated pipeline. So each time someone makes a change, um, let's say I come here and I make a change to my, my index.js, my actual application. 
I make a change and I push it in. As soon as I push my change in, it automatically builds and pushes my image to ECR. And as you notice, it tags it as latest. So each time application comes, it picks up the most recent code, right? Keep that in mind. Thank you guys. Make sure to check out my class link, um, like and subscribe and learn the real DevOps. Thank you very much and have a great day.